Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to convert any image into vector and I'm going to start with the sketch that I've done and just inked and I've cleaned it up in Photoshop just to make the darks dark and the lights very light and that's just going to make it easier for the image to be traced. So we're going to select this image just by clicking on it and then we're going to come up to window and choose image trace so that our panel comes up and now we're going to choose black and white logo and that's the setting that you would choose for any sketch that you do or any black and white image and you can see I've got preview set so it's already come up and it's a lot cleaner than it was before but we've lost a little bit of detail so I'm just going to come over to threshold and increase the threshold a bit and basically the higher the threshold the more black and the lower the threshold the more white so I'm quite happy with that um, another thing that you can do if you've lost a bit of detail and you want a bit more is just lower the noise and the noise basically just ignores different areas of the image below a certain pixel count so you can see at the moment it's set to 25 pixels if you make it lower then more pixels will show up and if you make it higher then less pixels will show up so I'm quite happy with that so I'm just going to press expand and now you can see that there are anchors and paths around every single point in this image. So it's much cleaner and if I zoom in you can see that it's still perfect regardless of how far you zoom. So there you have it, in just a few seconds. So now I'm going to show you how to vectorize a photograph. So I'll just come over to my other layer here where I have a banana and I'm just going to select the image again and this time I'm going to choose high fidelity photo. And if you want to include more colors you can bring the colors up higher and if you want to include even more detail you can bring the paths up higher but I've just got it set to these settings and as you can see the image that's been traced is really really close to the original photo and when you zoom in it's really clean and you can see as well that every section of it is made up of shapes now instead of pixels. You can also do some different effects with this as well so let's say that you wanted to do something a little bit more pop art inspired you just bring colors all the way down to let's say six colors and now you can see that it's looking a lot more graphic and quite a lot more interesting um, and then you can just hit expand and now it's been vectorized and if you want to change the colors you can just select the whole thing come up to object live paint make and now you can just take your paint bucket which is over here and let's say we'll make that section blue maybe we'll make that section green you can play around quite a lot and have quite a lot of fun with it so that's that's it really in just a few minutes um, change two images to vector without having to trace over every single little bit and you can do some really cool effects um, and have quite a lot of fun so if you found this interesting um, or helpful please like and share and don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below thanks so much